knew. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I'm laughing because Debbie was bummed because she had her hair up in a ponytail. I said, just take it down and fluff it. And this is what like... happens when you wear a ponytail all day and then take it out at the last minute. You've got stringy hair. So I said, I'll just pull it all to one side so nobody can tell. Maybe I'll put this little thing in it so it looks like I purposed it that way. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Just leave it. Anyway, today um, we have like three clothing boxes. They all came at once, of course, right before Christmas. But I just want to say, I don't know if you guys like my jacket, but this was from Outlander at Torrid. I got compliments on this jacket everywhere I went. So What I'm she so means to say is it's the Outlander line of clothing at Torrid. Yes. That's what I meant to say. Okay, there are some. Isn't that Jamie's plaid? This is Jamie's tartan plaid. Yes, so, so that's a very special For those jacket. of you who watch out. I said he got a million compliments on it today, so I'm going to wear it. <laughs> 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 All right, it is my Dia Inco. It feels like forever since I got one. I think the last one I only kept a purse or something. So there are some really good possibilities in here. Now. The first one, I asked for a red and burgundy box. That's all I asked for. I didn't care what it was. So it's kind of a unique box. But this but is purple from, and I'm drinking out of the glass I got in one of my boxes a while ago. It's quite tasty. It's Bailey's. All right, here we go. This is from Bobo, or Bo, yeah, it's probably Bobo. And this is like or a babo. Babo. <laughs> babo. <laughs> babo. Babalu. All right. This is a purple. Like, Holly Cozy Cardigan, it's called. It's purple color, and it retails for $59. Okay. And it's like, you know, it's like a sweatshirt, kind of. And it has a hood. And I like how flowy it is, and I like that it's open. But... I think it's missing a button on the front. If they're going to put a hood on something, they should make the the garment closable. I don't understand that. And it's very soft inside, like almost like, well, like a oh, felty. Oh yeah, like fleece. Fleece. Like fleece. Yes, I was going to say felt. Felt isn't like that. Felt is a little but scratchy. It's it's unique. It's kind of like a $59 open sweatshirt, you know? It's, again, open. It should have like at least one big button on so it to I, close it if you want to. I'm not sure how I feel about this. One, I don't really like the color purple. I love purple. I just don't... I like the inside color better than yes, the outside. If the, you know what? Maybe that's what it was. If it was dark on the outside and light on the inside. Yeah, that might be nice. But hey, let me know what you think. Switch that one around and it's, a buy, it's buyable. <laughs> Put a button on the front, too. <laughs> Have some more Bailey. <laughs> so anyway, I would like to know what you guys think. I mean, it's pretty casual. I don't think I could wear this to work, but... No, that's pretty casual. It needs a button. All right. The next thing is... It's from Liotta, exclusively for d Co., so I can't even price shop Okay, this. so this is a Veronica flutter sleeve blouse. All right, here In it is. In red and pink. Well, I wouldn't call that pink, would you? All right. So red is the flowers, pink is the background. I don't think it's pink. I think it's like a, a cream with... But no, it's definitely just... pink. What are you looking at? Well, I'll put it up Here's, to... Here, it's pink. Yes. Oh it's well, pink. I guess it looks a little pinky in there, but anyway, um, it's a it's a heavier knit. What I don't like about it is these these flutter the sleeves. The flutter sleeves, which is what makes the garment. I know, but I don't like it. It, it just reminds me of something like my grandmother would wear, and and I, maybe because my arms are a little bit bigger, so I just I don't, like it. I didn't. I don't think the sleeves were a problem. I um. I think it's a fun shirt. It would look cute with the really with the right bottom half. Yeah, I just don't know. It's just a little clingy, and I just don't like the sleeves. I I do like the print, and I don't know why. Cause it the problem is the flutter sleeves are hard to put in sweaters for the winter because yeah, they bunch up they right bunch here, up. and then you get this big clump right here. So yeah, and, that's and I more, can't I would say that's more of a spring shirt. But it's a little heavy to be a spring, so it's a uh, no. Cause spring is cold still. Well, maybe. Well, I wouldn't, I, I don't think I'm going to keep this one because I don't, I'm not going to leave it hanging in my closet for... I think it's a cute shirt. Not for her, but it's a cute shirt. Yeah, I do. I like the color and I like the print, but I'm not crazy about how it fit me and I'm not crazy about... Alex. Yeah. Alex 1, A-L-I-X, handpicked these for Cindy. So Alex, 
it was a nice shirt. Just didn't feel good. All right, and then they sent me two pair of burgundy pants in the same fix. Which is, well, you asked for burgundy. Yeah, but not two pair of pants. They're different kinds. Do they really think I'm going to buy two pair of pants, burgundy pants? I think well, if you're asking for burgundy, that means you don't have any burgundy in your wardrobe. But I'm not so, going to spend... Okay, never mind. We'll so they gave you like a later. jean and they gave you like a dress pant. That's true. Okay, so... Only the first pair look like sausage case. <laughs> <laughs> These are from Morgan and Walker. I'm going to just ignore her. They didn't look good, Cindy. I don't know how many more videos we could do if you keep drinking that stuff. <laughs> But anyway, so this, these are Morgan and Walker. Are they skinnies or what are they? They're bleaker dye skinny jean burgundy and they retail for $69. Which the price point isn't bad, but they better fit pretty well. Yeah, I I, I like the color and I like the material. It's They're very soft and very comfort, comforting, comfortable. I do have another pair of Morgan and Walker pants, but I would wear these with boots, but if they were too wrinkly everywhere. Yeah, they were like... You know, if I pulled the pants down, then they were way too long. And if I pulled them up, then they were all crinkly. So, I don't know. But maybe I look nice better pair in of pants. Them. Didn't fit her well. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I, I do... I, de I need a pair of burgundy jeans. And they gave me two pair, but... All right. Here's the second pair in the I same. think you should ask for a pair of burgundy like those gray pants you had on. The Liverpool. The, these, the Liverpool. Get burgundy Liverpool. Yeah. Those fit you well. So these are from Molly and Isidore, and I know that is a Dia and Co. Brand. They're a Venice crop trouser. So one was a jean and one, one was yeah. a trouser. And, and I like work pants. And these are $65 retail. The problem that I have with these, again, I love the color. I love the pockets. They're soft. But they're a length where I don't feel comfortable enough wearing them with flats in the Chicago winters. And they're too, they're not a skinny to wear inside boots. So I think my impression of them, and I could be wrong, is they made me look, my legs look short. Don't you think? Yeah, but if you wore a pair of like pumps or something with them like the, the women do that are in the workplace. I don't wear your pumps. <laughs> yeah, I don't either anymore. They hurt my feet. <laughs> it's like, if I know I'm going to be sitting for eight hours and not walking, I'll wear a really nice pair of pumps. But if I have to walk, I don't know. So I, I don't know about these pants. Let me know what you think. And if I did get these, what would you guys wear? What kind of shoes would you wear these with? Because I don't know that I can wear them with flats. I mean, then I'd have to wear winter boots, take them off, put my flats on. What about booties and roll it up a little bit? I don't know. Might be too... Because I see a lot of women wearing pants that aren't tight around the ankle. They roll it and have booties. Well, maybe. But I don't know. I just think that they just... But you better like them a lot up. for 65 bucks. And I don't know that I do. Now, if you guys tell me, oh, those look awesome on you, and I'm getting an overwhelming majority of people... I'll, I'll consider it. I'd like to get one of the two pair, but let me know what you guys think of those two pair. I don't know. I can't decide. But the one thing that I know that I'm keeping, look at this jacket. This little moto style jacket. It's called the it's Kenzie Leota Moto Jacket, tan and black. It retails for $69. Now, I saw somebody um, on a YouTube channel, and gosh, I'm sorry, I don't know who it was. But they um, opened this jacket, and I instantly went on Dia and Co. and I asked them for this jacket because I just loved it. It's, I mean, it's got real pockets, not faux pockets or fox pockets. And I'm a big leopard freak, so I have so many. I'm already thinking of ways I can wear this jacket. I think it fits me pretty good. What do you mm -hmm. think? Because you are filming. Yeah, it no, it, that jacket looked good on you. Yeah, and it's I really like it. How keeper. much was this one? Sixty-nine dollars. I don't mind spending $69, yeah, but, but I get have your a 20, ton of outfits. It's 49 You've already spent 20 so. Yeah. So, I really like it. See, that's the kind of piece now. See, we are getting to the point where our closets are getting pretty full because we've been doing these styling boxes. And I said, from now on, we need to start grabbing the pieces that stand out, that really are those wow pieces, not just ones to fill the closet. We've done that. We've got yeah. closets full. So, now, moving forward... If we're going to keep doing these boxes, we need to get really, really picky about what we're keeping. So out of this whole box with Dia, I think that's the only piece she should keep. It's the only thing that fits her perfectly. And I kind of like, 
I it's wish, versatile. I wish that she the burgundy, so if the burgundy pants fit me better, I would wear this with the burgundy pants. It would look really good together. There's so many things I could wear this with. I'm so excited. In fact, I think I'm going to wear it to work tomorrow. So, all right. Well, that's the five pieces. Uh, what was the damage? Okay, so if Cindy would have kept this whole box, it was $321 minus the styling fee of 20 minus the 25% off, 80 25 It would have been two twenty seventy five, dollars which... For a box is not a bad price. However, yeah. I thought only that one jacket looked good on her. So they did what Cindy asked. She asked for a red yeah. and burgundy box. So she got that. She got up that leopard thing she pinned and got it. So they did their job. It yeah, just they didn't listened. Fit. They mm -hmm. just it just didn't fit since some of the pieces just didn't fit Cindy well. So she'll look forward to her next box and hopefully yeah, I, I, I know you guys, I am keeping that jacket, but I really, really would like your opinion on that purple jacket. Tell me what you guys think, if it's just kind of just weird looking, or if one of the two pair of burgundy pants actually fit me and you like the way it looks. So, I really want a pair of burgundy pants. I, I have a pair already. Mm. <laughs> All right, ladies, we got two more clothing videos, so stay tuned. Two more, count them, what do you Hit that notify bell, and then you'll know as soon as we post. Hey, it. we're getting we're getting close. We only have less than a week now to get to 400. So we really, really, really want to do a Christmas giveaway. So please hit that subscribe button because you really don't have to watch us. You just have to subscribe. To us. <laughs> <laughs> have a sympathy for two for two old ladies. Come on. All right, we'll yeah, come yeah. at you with a couple more videos. Yes. And no, that's okay. I'm done. You did all the talking. Go ahead there, Miss Outlander. Go ahead. What were you going to say? I can know. So. I did a Ken. I did a Ken. He said it wrong. You ruined it. All right, <laughs> ladies. Bye. All right. Bye.